All right, the first thing we're going to look at when we review the plate tectonics material is we're going to look at the interior of the earth and the different layers that make it up. The first two we're going to look at are the inner core and the outer core. The inner core is a dense ball of solid metal. Um, its extreme pressure squeezes the atoms of iron and nickel so much that they can't spread out and become liquid. The outer core, however, is a layer of molten metal that surrounds the inner core. The next layer we're going to talk about is the largest layer of all of the interior of the earth, and that's the mantle. This is made up of rock that is very, very hot, but also a solid. The scientists have then divided the mantle into layers based on the physical characteristics of those layers. So those next two is the asthenosphere, and above that you have the lithosphere. The asthenosphere is almost like tar softened by the heat of the sun. Um, it's the part of the mantle that's somewhat soft, and it can bend like plastic. This allows our plates to move on top of this layer. The uppermost part of the mantle is very similar to the crust, and that's the lithosphere. We have two different types of lithosphere or crust, and that's oceanic crust and continental crust. In Earth's mantle, large amounts of heat are transferred by convection currents. That is represented on here with the arrows. Heat from the core in the mantle itself causes convection currents in the mantle, and these convection currents cause our plates to move. So when this liquid heats up, it rises. Okay, the direction that the convection current goes determines which direction the plate is going to go. So in this case, this plate is moving this way, and this plate is moving this way. Once the material cools down towards the crust, it then sinks, so that's the reason it's called a current. Our entire crust is made up of plates, and these plates are all moving in different directions. One important thing to remember is that the plates can be made up of both continental crust and oceanic crust. They can be made up of just oceanic crust, or they can be made up of just continental crust. These plates are all moving in different directions, and by the directions that they're going, that determines some of the landforms that are created or the events that occur. The first type of plate boundary that we looked at was called convergent. Convergent, same idea, you have to remember that the plates are colliding. They are going towards each other. When this happens with two pieces of continental crust, the pieces of continental crust push into each other and push up to form a mountain range. The next type is still convergent, but this is when we're looking at oceanic crust and continental crust. When these two plates push towards each other, one of them pushes underneath, and that's the oceanic crust. When this happens, that's called the subduction zone. Eventually, all of this is melted away because of the extreme heat, and eventually gets recycled and reused. When the oceanic crust pushes into the continental crust, it forms a very deep valley, and that is called the trench. Also, by the crust pushing into the asthenosphere, that can also trigger a volcano. So these are three different outcomes that could happen when you have oceanic crust converging or colliding with continental crust. For divergent boundary, it means that the plates are going in opposite directions. They're dividing. When that happens, magma from the asthenosphere rises, and it cools to form a mid-ocean ridge or a rift valley. A mid-ocean ridge is simply an underwater mountain chain, whereas a rift valley is just a, a valley that's formed from the plates moving apart. Finally, the last one that we learned about was transform fault boundary. This is simply when the plates are moving past each other in opposite directions. When that happens, they tend to interlock and build up pressure. When they finally release from each other, that creates an earthquake, the shake that we feel. The longer the plates are pushing, the more pressure that it builds usually resulting in a stronger earthquake.